Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the broom that's in spicy mustard. I'm just going to turn my palette a little paint. You don't need very much, it goes pretty far. And this is a smaller flat brush. This is a size 4. I, I used a 6 on the body of the snowman. And what I'm going to do again is go over the broom ties because I kind of know where they are and can see them. You'll notice I dip in the water quite a bit. Now see that's a little bit too moist and then just blot it on your paper towel. You don't want it too wet because you'll be here all day. It'll be so transparent and you don't want it to run. But as I said, thin coats are going to look much nicer and much more professional. You're not going to get any edges from your brush. And again, you're going to wrap the sides with the color. I don't know if you can see that. You could probably see why I use a flat brush. It's very handy for keeping neat edges and things. This is the top of the broom. Now here's a little trick. I want to do the inside area here paint, but I don't want to get any on the hat area. So you could take a paper towel or a piece of paper and kind of wrap the hat area. And paint your edges there. I'm painting from the back right now just to get to it. There it goes. And that way you have a clean edge there and you don't get it on the other side. So we're going to rinse our brush. And the next color will be red for the scarf. I'm going to start the scarf again with the flat brush, the number four. You'll notice when I load the paint, I don't go all the way up to the ferrule because that's when you start to ruin your brushes. The paint gets up in there. Since it's acrylic, it, it'll dry very quickly and then the bristles start to spread and you lose a nice edge on your brush. So. You try to, that's why I wet the brush first too, because it, if it's wet, it gives it like a buffer zone. And you don't need to put that much paint on there. If you keep the edges of your brushes nice, it's quite easy to follow the lines and paint, as you can see. Now the scarf ends right here and this is what I call a negative area and what we do with that, I could have cut it out on the saw but it's really kind of a pain and I don't think you have to. If you paint it a neutral color it'll just blend in and you won't even notice it. Here I painted it a tan and it just disappears. So it just makes it easier for cutting the wood. And it's one more little step you just have to do. I think the biggest problem people have with base coating is they go on way too thick. People are impatient and they want to cover it all in one time and sometimes it looks good and sometimes you need several coats 
and I think you're better off with less. It's much easier to put another coat on than to remove too much paint. See how fast that goes. Now see the red won't need another coat, I don't believe. And the base coat doesn't have to look perfect because it is just the base, but you want it to look nice. We're also going to do the hat band in red, so I'm going to go back to the liner, the round brush. Just one little stroke. Around the end. And around the hat. Now we're going to do our broom handle with light cinnamon. You can see the broom handle. See now there's too much water, it's too thin. So I blotted it and I picked up more color. And it's still too thin. I mustn't have shaken it enough. See it even started running a little on the wood, but that's going to be covered up, so that doesn't matter. Let me try. Kind of going to show you these real time. There, that's thicker. They have a binder and the paints, and if you don't use them for a while, sometimes the binders separate, so you have to really kind of shake them up. But back to the mistakes. If you watch me paint, and then you'll see that I do make mistakes sometimes or things don't go exactly as planned and there's lots of ways to fix things and still make them look nice. So I'm not going to edit all that out. I'd rather show you so you know you can do it too. Just adding a little more color there. We also want to do the broom ties in light cinnamon. I always do that little negative area last because then if you miss and get some paint on it you just go over it. Okay and finally, no not finally, we got to do the nose too. We'll do the nose next. I like these bubble palettes because they give you a lot of little separate rooms where and since I'm right-handed I go in a clockwise direction so I'm not putting my hand in the paint because I've done that. So now we're going to do his nose. Okay, we're going to work on his hat now with graphite paint. It's the darkest color. We're going to do that last. And you can see that going to probably need two coats. 
because it's a little bit transparent. I'm going to switch to the round brush for the brim of the hat. back to the flat brush for the edge under here. Okay, that looks good. And finally, we'll do the little negative area. We're going to base coat that in cool neutral, which is a neutral color. It's just a small area, so I'm going to use the round brush again. probably barely see what I'm doing because the color is almost the color of the wood just gives a little bit of shading to it and there you have it you could probably go over some of the ones like the hat and give a second coat just to make sure they're covered well. And your snowman is all base coated.